blessed. So, Maharaj, can I uh, give you a small introduction to devotees, Maharaj? Okay, Prabhu, yes. Hare Krishna, so we uh, welcome all the devotees. We sabhi all the swagat karte hain. Aur ye hum sab ka param saubhagya hai. Aaj hum sab logon ke saath mein param pushniya bhakti vigna vinasak nirsing swayam maharaj wo hamare saath mein upasthit hain. Aur is bhot hi sub jo tiyawar hai hum gaudiya vaishnavon ke liye. To nityanand priyodeshi usme aaj humko maharaj ka aashirwad aur maharaj ke मुख कमल से हमको कथा का श्रवण करने का ये सौभाग्य प्राप्त हो रहा है तो मैं महाराज का एक संक्षिप्त परिचय दे करके और फिर हम लोग महाराज से अनुरोध करेंगे कि महाराज हमको उनकी कथा के माध्यम से कृपा प्रदान करेंगे सो इज ऑल इन भक्ति विघ्न विनाश नरसिंह महाराज Maharaj was initiated by Srila Prabhupada in London in 1971. So Maharaj was initiated by Srila Prabhupada in London in 1971. A year later, he received second initiation. And after one year, Maharaj was the second initiation in our society. Maharaj was the first initiation. He has been preaching for over last 25 years in Asian countries such as India, Philippines, China, Taiwan, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, and Thailand. So, uh, Maharaj, for uh, 25 years, in the Asia, the countries in which there are 12 years, Philippines, China, Taiwan, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Thailand, so, Usme Maharaj uh, Prachar Karne hai. Though uh, his years of preaching, he has given countless souls practical guidance and deep inspiration. So, itne uh, verso uh, through his years of preaching. So, itne verso ke jo Maharaj ka ye prachar ki uh, jo kripa hai, <coughs> uske madhyam se Maharaj ne kai kai aise <coughs> jo bad jeev hai unpe. Uh, uh, Kripa Pradhan ki hai, taking sannyas in Mayapur in 1994 from Kamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj did not mean much of a change in his lifestyle. So, Sun Uniswa Charana Bay Bay Maharaj ko Param Kushniya uh, Kamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj ke dwara sannyas diksha prapt hui, lekin Maharaj ke jivan mein koi adik parivartan nahi tha, unka jo uh, jivan charya thi, wo ek sannyasi ke hi, jase pehle se thi. So since Maharaj has always been strict in sadhana, because he always does his sadhana very strictly. Whoever gets to know Maharaj admires and respects his sincere and faithful practice of chanting the holy names of the Lord. So, जो जिस किसी का भी Maharaj से संग होता है, जो कोई भी Maharaj के संपर्क में आता है, उनकी कृपा के तो वो सब Maharaj का जो उनकी साधना है, उनका जो जब करने के प्रति महाराज का जो भाव है, वो सभी उससे आकर्षित होते हैं। और he truly walks his talk। तो महाराज जो बोलते हैं, उसके अनुसार ही उनके जीवन में वो पूर्ण रूप से उनके जीवन में भी वो दिखाई देता है, जो महाराज बोलते हैं, जैसा वो शिक्षा देते हैं वो सारी शिक्षाएं महाराज के जीवन में हमको दिखाई देती हैं महाराज हैज बीन टीचिंग विद द एमआई सिंस इट्स इंसेप्शन तो महाराज जो मायपुर इंस्टीट्यूट में कोर्सेज होते हैं भक्ति से संबंधित अलग-अलग कोर्स तो उसमें जब से वो जो संस्थान है उसके वो प्रारंभ हुआ है तब से महाराज उसमें अपनी जो सेवाएं हैं, शिक्षाएं हैं, उससे सभी जो भक्त वहाँ पर शिक्षा प्राप्त कर रहे हैं, उनको महाराज की कृपा प्राप्त हो रही है। तो हम लोग सब सौभाग्य साली हैं कि आज हमको महाराज का संग इतने सुबह से पर मिल रहा है। तो अभी मैं महाराज से अनुरोध करूँगा कि महाराज हमको कथा के माध्यम से कृपा प्रदान करेंगे। So I request you, Maharaj, I give the Om Magyanatamarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya 
Chaksurmilitanyenathesmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhukti Vedanta Swamini Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Koravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschachadeshatarine Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bayevacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So today is the auspicious day of the appearance of Lord Nityananda, who is the expansion of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the Panchatattva, non different. Aaj uh, Nityanand uh, Prabhu unka adar bhav divas hai, unki lilaon mein uh, unse abhinna hai, aur wo uh, Balram ji ka uh, vistar hai. The glory of Lord Nityananda, he says, He no nitai bini bai Radha Krishna paite nai. Meaning, to understand the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Lord Nityananda, Non different from Balaram is the original spiritual master, and he comes in the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to show us the mood of service. So, uh, Nityanand Prabhu, who uh, Bhagwan Balaram, unse abhin hai, or uh, Bhagwan Chaitanya ki lilaon me, who. Uh, Lord Balaram expands himself first as Sankashan and then as Sank from Sankashan then we have the three Purusha avatars Mahavishnu, Garbhodakashaya Vishnu, Shiradakashaya Vishnu and also Anantashesha. They are all expansions from Lord Balaram who is not different from Lord Nityananda. So, uh, Bhagwan Balram, who apna vistar sankarsan ke roop mein karte hain, jin se phir teen pursa utar uh, aate hain, aur anand se is bhi aate hain, aur jo uh, Bhagwan Balram un se abhin hain, aur Nityanand Prabhu unhi, unhi ka abhin uh, vistar. We know the three Purusha avatars, Mahavishnu, Garbhodakshai Vishnu, Shirodakshai Vishnu, they're all involved in the creation of the material manifestation. Nantashesha, he takes nine different forms, all for the service of Lord Krishna. Bhagwan Anant says, "Wo no vivin roop vistar karte hain Bhagwan Sri Krishna ki seva ke liye." The umbrella over the head of the Lord, the shoes of the Lord, the seat of the Lord. The cushion of the Lord, the pillow of the Lord, the Brahman thread of the Lord, the ornaments and clothes of the Lord, they're all Anantashesha, expansions of Anantashesha for the service of the Supreme Lord. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, 
के जितने भी जो उनके व्यक्तिगत जो वस्तुएं हैं जिनको भगवान धारण करते हैं जैसे उनका छाता है उनके पादुका है उनका जो आसन है उनका जो तकिया है या उनका जो जनेऊ है उनके जो आभूषण है वस्त्र है ये सभी भगवान अनंत से उनके विस्तार so before we speak about the lila of lord nichananda we want to understand the nature of lord nichananda and his nature is to be the servant of lord chaitanya bhagwan nityanand unki leela mein pravesh karne ke pehle humko unka jo bhav hai usko samajhna hai aur unka jo bhav hai Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda are non-different, just as Krishna and Balaram are non-different. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda are not different. But just as Lord Balaram was always in the mood of giving service to Krishna, Lord Krishna, in the same way Lord Nityananda is always in the mood of serving Lord Chaitanya. तो जिस प्रकार भगवान श्री कृष्ण एवं भगवान बलराम वो दोनों एक दूसरे से अभिन्न हैं उसी प्रकार भगवान चैतन्य की लीला में भगवान चैतन्य एवं नित्यानंद दोनों वो भी अभिन्न हैं और जिस प्रकार से जो बलराम जी का सेवा भाव है भगवान श्री कृष्ण की लीला में वही भाव नित्यानंद प्रभु का भी and just as Lord Balaram appeared first before Lord Krishna, in the same way Lord Nityananda appeared before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Lord Nityananda, he appeared in Eka Chakra. He did not appear in Mayapur, he appeared in Eka Chakra. <laughs> लीला में उनका आविर्भाव भगवान श्री कृष्ण से पहले होता है उसी प्रकार से भगवान जो नित्यानंद प्रभु हैं उनका भी और आविर्भाव चैतन्य लीला में भगवान चैतन्य से पहले होता है लेकिन वो उनका जो प्राकट्य है वो श्रीधाम मायापुर में नहीं होकर के वो एक चक्र जो ग्राम है वहां पर जो वी मे वंडर दैट द लॉर्ड शुड अपीयर इन द होली प्लेस is Eka Chakra a holy place? Because usually holy places, they should be, be beside the Ganga, beside the banks of the holy river. But Eka Chakra is not beside any river. It's in a place called Radhadesh, which is quite dry. No, there's no river there. तो ये देखा जाता है कि भगवान यदि हम लोग ऐसे देखें तो भगवान का जो आविर्भाव है वो जैसे नित्यानंद प्रभु उनका एक चक्र धाम में हुआ तो ये तो किसी जो पुण्य जो नदी है तो उसके समीप नहीं हुआ ये तो राधा देश है जहाँ पर कोई जो नदी है वो नहीं है तो कैसे हम लोग इसको समझे कि जो एक चक्र है क्या वो धाम का स्थान है हरे कृष्णा ब्रजवास बाबू जी मैं आपसे अनुरोध करता हूँ इसके आगे आप कंटिन्यू करिए प्रभु जो ट्रांसलेशन है हरी फर्स्ट ब्रजवास बाबू जी टू कंटिन्यू प्लीज ओके प्रभु महाराज प्लीज महाराज महाराज हरे कृष्ण प्रभु so we should understand eka chakra dam eka chakra is a holy place because any any place where the pandavas stayed that is a holy place and 5000 years ago the pandavas had come to eka chakra and they stayed there so ek chakra jo hai jahan par bhi pandav aur rahe hain wo nishchit roop se wo ek pavitra sthan hai to isliye hame samajhna hoga ki ek chakra jo hai wo ek pavitra sthan hai so Lord Nichananda appeared there. He was born in the son of Harai Pandit and his mother was Padmavati. Harai Pandit uh, and Padmavati were deeply attached to their son, uh, Nitai. Nitai was their eldest son. 
So the mother and father had very deep attachment, deep affection for him. They wouldn't let him go anywhere on his own. They were always with him. They always wanted to see him. They didn't want him to go anywhere without them. So, it, Lord Nityananda, as, as a young boy, who is known as Nitai, he is very much loved by all the people in the Eka Chakra. And Eka Chakra was very opulent when Lord Nityananda was there. Although it's a little village, just doing, growing some rice and taking care of the cows, was very opulent because of, of the presence of N Lord Nityananda. And he grew up as Nitai, and he was loved by all the people. Everyone loved, knew him, and they loved him. As a young child, Nitai would organize all the children in the village to do dramas, and every day they would enact the pastimes of Lord Krishna and the pastimes of all the different avatars of Krishna. And the people were amazed. They were wondering, how do these children know all this? We don't know all this. How do they know? Of course, Lord Nityananda, Nithai, non different from Balaram, he knows all the pastimes of the Lord. And he was arranging the children to enact all of these different leelas. Only problem was mother and father were so attached to Nitai. And so Nitai thought how to get out from this situation. So it was arranged by the will of providence that a sannyasi came there to Eka Chakra. And Harai Pandit, he brought the sannyasi to his home to give him meals. And he told the sannyasi, please tell me whatever I can do to help you for your service. Please don't hesitate to ask me. I will be happy to help you. So Sanyasi said, yes, I will tell you before I leave, I will tell you how you can serve me. And so the Sanyasi stayed there, he took a nice meal at their home, and he took the, a night's nice rest there in their home. Next morning the Sanyasi was going to leave, but before he left, he spoke to Harai Pandit and he told him, he said, you know, I'm a sannyasi and I'm alone and I'm going to visit all the holy places. So as a sannyasi, you know, I have to, I have, sometimes I have to cook for myself. Sometimes nobody is there to invite me to their home to take food, so I may have to cook for myself. So it's, it's a lot of trouble for me to, you know, get the wood and get the baked vegetables and cook everything. He said, but if I had some assistant with me, it would be a great help. So he said, you have a nice son, 12 years old, Nitai. 
I think your son would make a very nice assistant. Kindly let your son come with me, and I will take him to all the holy places with me, and I will guard him with my life. I will keep him safe. तो उन्होंने कहा कि देखिए मैं अकेले भ्रमण करता हूँ और अकेले स्वयं अपना प्रसाद बनाता हूँ मैं वृद्ध हो चुका हूँ और इसमें बहुत कठिनाई होती है इसमें अगर किसी की सहायता मिल जाए तो बहुत लाभ होगा और चूंकि आपका जो बालक है बारह वर्ष का मेधावी बालक नेताए अगर आप मुझे उनको अपने साथ उनको मुझे मेरे साथ भेज देंगे तो मेरे साथ तो मुझे बड़ी सहायता मिल जाएगी और साथ ही साथ में उनको मैं बहुत तीर्थ स्थानों का भ्रमण कराऊंगा So 500 years ago, everybody they were just walking. Everything was walking. There was no trains or planes or nothing. So that if he was going to go, if Nitai goes with that sannyasi, he's going to leave home for many years. It will be many years before he will come home again. So father and mo father was, you know, he was shocked. He thought, how can I ever live without my son? तो उस समय चूंकि सब लोग पद यात्रा करते थे उसमें कोई ऐसा और साधन नहीं था और यात्रा करते करते बहुत समय लग जाया करता था तो उनके पिता माता को लगा कि अब ये जाएंगे इनके साथ में अगर भ्रमण पे तो बहुत लंबे समय के पश्चात शायद वापस आ पाए तो बोला कि इनके बिना कैसे हम रह पाएंगे बट ही ऑल्सो थॉट आई गिव माई वर्ड टू हेल्प दिस सन यासी ही then i will be ruined my word will have no more meaning anymore it will be very bad for me aur is saath saath ye bhi soch rahe the hadai pant ki nahi maine unko apna vachan de diya hai aur agar main vachan ka apna paran nahi karta hu to sanyasi ki seva nahi karne ke aparaadh se mera sab kuch nash ho jayega aur mere mere vachan ka phir kya mulya reh jayega so he spoke to his wife and he told his wife the situation and he asked his wife what should we do and his wife said well whatever you decide i will accept so the father came back and told the sanyasi all right you take my son my son will go with you aur tab bhai pandit andar aaye apni patni se padmavati se puche ki kya karna chahiye aap batai to unhone bola ki dekhiye aapki jo aagya hogi aapka jo nirnay hoga main us pe sahmat hu aap nirnay lijiye to fir wo bahar aaye unhone kaha ki theek hai agar aapki icha hai to aap mere baalon ko leke jaiye So in this way, Lord Nityananda got freed from his home, and he could go with the sannyasi, and he travelled to all the holy places. Earlier, in his previous incarnation as Lord Balaram, he'd already visited all the holy places because Lord Balaram didn't take part in the battle of Kurukshetra. At that time, he went to travel and visited all the holy places. So. Lord Nitai Nityananda he was eager to go to the holy places again and see these places aur tab jo hai is prakar se nitan prabhu ka jo wo samasya thi ki ghar ki aasakti wo chhoot gayi aur phir saath mein chale gaye wo bhimad karne ke liye tab is sthano par unke saath sanyasi ke saath mein pehle wale avatar mein balram ji ke roop mein bhi unhone sare tirth yatra tirth sthano ka bhimad kiya tha kyunki wo yuddh mein bhag nahi liye the और उस समय वो सभी तीर्थों के पटन पे गए थे और इस बार पुनः नितान प्रभु जो है वो तीर्थ जाने के लिए वो उत्सुक है सो ही ट्रैवल्ड ऑल ओवर भारतवर्ष नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट वेस्ट एवरीवेयर एंड देन आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स ऑफ ट्रैवलिंग ही केम टू स्टे इन वृंदावन व्हाइल ही वाज इन वृंदावन ही हर्ड हाउ द संकीर्तन मूवमेंट हैड बिगन बाय चैतन्य महाप्रभु और इस प्रकार उन साधु के साथ में वो दक्षिण और उत्तर भारत की सभी यात्रा करने के पश्चात अंततः वो वृंदावन धाम में पहुंचे और वहां पर वो उन्होंने श्रवण किया कि किस प्रकार से संकीर्तन आंदोलन जो जगन महाप्रभु का है वो अब प्रसारित होने वाला है सो दैट टाइम लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा ही केम ओवर टू मायापुर एंड ही वेंट ही स्टेड इन द होम ऑफ अ डिवोटी एंड लॉर्ड चैतन्य he was telling the devotees in mayapur he was telling them he said you know a few days ago i had a dream that there was a great personality a very tall personality very strongly built very handsome very auspicious bodily features and he appeared in my dream and he said he's my brother and he said he's coming here to mayapur to be with me and he wants to take part in our sankirtan 
और तब नित्यानंद प्रभु वृंदावन से मायापुर की ओर प्रस्थान किए वहां पर जाकर के वो वहां पर एक दिनों पर अपने आप को छिपा लिए और यहाँ पर चेतन महाप्रभु वो उन्होंने अपने पार्षदों के साथ में व्यक्त किया कि उन्होंने स्वप्न देखा था कि स्वप्न में एक बहुत सुंदर आकर्षक बड़े ही हिस्ट पुष्ट काया वाले एक व्यक्ति जो है वो अपने आप को चेतन महाप्रभु बोलते हैं कि उनके बड़े भाई हैं और वो कह रहे हैं कि अब मैं आ गया हूँ और आपके संकीर्तन आंदोलन में भाग लूंगा मैं Lord Chaitanya told the devotees, he said, now that great personality, he's come here to Mayapur. You have to go and find him. So he sent Haridas with Srivas Pandit, Haridas Thakur and Srivas Pandit. The two of them are Mahabhagavat devotees. And he sent them, he said, you go and find this personality and bring him. Or we will come, if you find him, tell us where he is, we will come there to meet him. और चंद्र महापुर कहा कि वो वो कह रहे हैं वो महान व्यक्तित्व कि मैं आ चुका हूँ मायापुर में तो कृपा करके उन्होंने फिर श्रीवास और हरिदास ठाकुर इनको दोनों लोगों को उन्होंने भेजा जो महाभागवत भक्त हैं कि आप जाइए और ढूंढिए कि कहाँ पर है वो और नहीं तो आप बताइए कि कहाँ पर है तो हम लोग स्वयं वहां पर आएंगे सर श्रीवास ठाकुर एंड हरिदास ठाकुर दे व searching they went to every house they went to all the brahmans they went to the vaishyas they went to the sudras they went everywhere they looked every they even went to the homes of the atheists they couldn't find this personality ever anywhere and they searched for 9 hours and after 9 hours they came back and they told chaitanya mahaprabhu we, we can't find him anywhere we don't see this person anywhere और तब श्रीवास ठाकुर और हरदास ठाकुर दोनों लोग वो सभी के घर पर ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य यहाँ तक के जो नास्तिक थे उनके घरों में भी जाकर ढूंढे और लगभग नौ घंटे के इस अनुसंधान के पश्चात वापस आकर बोले कि नहीं हमको तो नहीं मिले हम सभी स्थानों पर ढूंढे लेकिन मुझे नहीं मिले सो वी कैन सी दोजिशन ऑफ लॉर्ड ने चंदेरी कॉन्फिडेंशियल that even great devotees like Haridas Thakur and Srivas Pandit could not find him. It was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself who had to lead the devotees to where this Nithai was. So we can understand that what is the state of Nithayam Prabhu Ji, that the Mahabhagavat, the Bhaktagad, they also didn't find him, they didn't find him, they didn't find him, they didn't find him. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told the devotees, "You come with me." And so they made a little sankirtan party and chanting the holy name. They followed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu led them to the home of Nandan Acharya. And this home is just right next door to our ISKCON center in Mayapur. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came over from the yoga pit of his home, and they came over there to. Nandan Acharya's home, and they walked into the house, and there they could see this wonderful personality, very tall, very graceful, very majestic, and he was sitting chanting the holy name intensely. और तब चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने कहा कि ठीक है, अब आप सब मेरे पीछे पीछे कीर्तन करते हुए आइए, और वो कीर्तन करते 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 वो नंदन आचार्य के घर पर पहुंचे जो अभी मायापुर में जो अंतर्राष्ट्रीय कृष्णा मिट संघ का जो मंदिर है उसके बिल्कुल समीप है ये स्थान और वहां पर चंद्र महाप्रभु के यहाँ पर रुके यहाँ पर हम अंदर जाएंगे और नंदन आचार्य जी के जब घर में प्रवेश किए तो वहां पर बहुत सुंदर आकर्षक और बहुत लंबे काया वाले चंद्र प्रभु वहां पर बैठ करके भगवान के नाम का चक्कर So Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, uh, when they met each other, everyone could see that they knew each. They had known each other somehow. They had, although they had never met before, they knew each other from their previous incarnation, because Nitai is Balaram, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna Himself. So Krishna and Balaram are together again in the form of Gora and Nitai. और तब चतन महाप्रभु और नित्यान प्रभु ऐसे मिले 
कि जितने लोग वहां पर खड़े थे उस समय जो इस दृश्य को देख रहे थे वो समझ नहीं पाए कि ये तो कभी आपस में पहले मिले नहीं थे और कैसे इतना प्रेम आकर्षण इनके अंदर में है क्योंकि तो बलराम जो नितान प्रभु है वो बलराम जी है और चंद्र महाप्रभु बस वैंक कृष्ण है तो इतने प्रेम से फिर उन्होंने एक दूसरे का आलिंगन किया So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted all the devotees to understand the position of Lord Nityananda. He didn't want them to have any doubt about his actual spiritual position. So he told Shrivas Pandit, "Recite some verse from Bhagavatam describing Lord Krishna and Vrindavan." And Shrivas began to recite beautiful verses from the tenth canto describing Lord Krishna in the forest of Vrindavan. और तब चित्र महाप्रभु ने वहां पर खड़े सभी भक्तों से वो चाहते थे कि सभी लोग ये जो नितान प्रभु की दिव्य स्थिति है उसको समझें उनको कोई साधारण व्यक्ति न समझे इसीलिए उन्होंने श्रीवास ठाकुर से बोला कि आप श्रीमद भागवतम से भगवान कृष्ण के गुणगान में कोई श्लोक बोलिए और तब बहुत सुंदर श्लोक दसवें स्कंद से उन्होंने बोलना शुरू किया so, describing how lord krishna dances entering into the forest of vrindavan and decorates the earth with all of his uh, auspicious footprints the marks of his lotus feet on the earth of vrindavan and at the same time he's playing on the flute and he's decorated with forest flowers from vrindavan so when he recited this verse then lord nichananda his ex mood of bhava his ecstatic love for krishna was awakened and he fell on the ground and he rolled on the ground and shed tears and there was a flood of water on the floor from his eyes aur tab shivas thakur ne dasme is kan se bahut sundar bhagwan krishna ke gurdan mein vise roop se kis prakar bhagwan shri krishna vrindavan mein jab wo ramad karte hain to unke charan chinh jo hai wahan par jo vraj ke की भूमि पर पढ़ते हैं और किस प्रकार से सब भक्त उसको देखकर ज्ञानित होते हैं इस प्रकार से गुणगान कर रहे थे वो और ये सुनकर के नित्यानंद प्रभु जो स्वयं बलराम है वो इतने भावा विभोर हो जाते हैं कि वो भूमि पर वो नृत्य करना शुरू करते हैं और भूमि पर गिर करके वो उसमें रोल करते हैं और उनके आंखों से अश्रु की धार बह रही है और पूरा वहां पर जैसे बाढ़ आ गई So Lord Chaitanya told Shrivas Pandit keep reciting and Shrivas chanted more and more slokas describing the beauty of Krishna and Lord Nityananda jumped up and danced and jumped up in the air and crashed on the floor like he would break all of his bones people were all shocked to see the ecstasy as Lord Nityananda chanted the holy name of krishna and called out to krishna in great ecstasy and love aur tab chitra mahapuru bola ki aap rukhiye mat shivas ko bola ki aap sunate rahiye aur shlok bolte rahiye aur wo aur shlok bolte ja rahe the aur aur nitan prabhu ko shravan karke phir uthte hain aur wo bilkul ushal karke hawa mein uchalte hain bahut kuch uchai tak phir niche aate hain nirte karte rehte hain is prakar se unka ye भागवतानंद प्रति गरी गरी गिया खोरो भिक्षा बोलो कृष्ण बजो कृष्ण खोरो कृष्ण शिक्षा राइट दिस वेरी फेमस वर्स इन द भागवतम इन द चैतन्य भागवत लॉर्ड चैतन्य इज टेलिंग हरिदास एंड लॉर्ड नीचंद गो टू एवरी डोर एंड बैग द पीपल टू चैन द होली नेम ऑफ कृष्ण एंड टू वर्शिप कृष्ण and read the books about krishna to is prakar se mayapur mein chatra mahaprabhu aur nitan prabhu milte hain aur unke milan ke pashchat chatra mahaprabhu unko prachar karne mein karne ke liye unko aur hardas thakur ko aadesh dete hain ki aap ja kar ke prati ghar mein aap jaiye 
और प्रति घर में जाकर के उनसे आप भिक्षा मांगिए कि आप कृष्ण का नाम भजो कृष्ण का भजन करो और कृष्ण की ही शिक्षा ग्रहण करो सो लॉर्ड नीचानंदा हिज यू नो दिज द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ सर्वटोर गॉड हैड He wants to teach all of us the mood of being the servant of the Lord. So he does not do things in a small way. So when he was asked to go out and preach, he picked the most fallen, the most sinful, the most degraded people and he would go to them and he would beg them to chant the holy name. So jaise hi aadesh mila nitan prabhu koi bhi jab seva karte hain to wo bahut vishal roop mein karna chahte hain. तो उन्होंने क्या किया उन्होंने सोचा कि ये जो आदेश है ये सबसे पहले मैं जो सबसे पतित लोग हैं उनके उनको जाकर के मैं ये शिक्षा देना चाहूंगा उनको मैं प्रचार करना चाहूंगा लॉर्ड नीचानंद एम्बॉडीज द कंपैशन ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु we say lord chaitanya is the most merciful of all the incarnations of krishna and we see that mercy manifested to its fullest extent in lord nityananda how he goes preaching to the most fallen the most unworthy souls to chatan mahaprabhu ki kripa ke kripa swarup hai nityanand prabhu hum sab kehte hain ki chatan mahaprabhu ab patit pavan avatar hai लेकिन उनके जो पतित पावन का जो ये कृपा है वो नित्यान प्रभु के द्वारा ही प्रकट होती है तो हम देख रहे हैं कि कैसे वो जाकर के जो सबसे पतित हैं उनको जाकर के वो ये कृष्ण प्रेम लेना चाहते हैं उनको प्रचार कर रहे हैं लॉर्ड नित्यानंदी but they become they become very degraded there was no sin they had not committed they done everything sinful they were the most fallen everybody was aware of them everybody knew them and they were so low and so sinful that people would just keep away from them and run away from them and lock the door if they saw them coming तो नितान प्रभु ने वहां पर जो सबसे पतित थे चगाई और मधाई हालांकि उनका जन्म ब्राह्मण परिवार में हुआ था लेकिन उनके सारे जो कार्यकलाप थे वो बिल्कुल निकृष्ट स्तर के थे सारे पापों में युक्त थे वो और इतने ज्यादा वो पापों में युक्त थे कि जो भी उनका नाम सुनता था वो दूर भागता था उनको देख करके लोग दूर भागते थे तो But उनके पास नितान प्रभु जाते हैं he thought well if these two souls can become devotees then everyone will know the mercy of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu so let us try and bring these two souls into our krishna conscious mission and so lord nichananda with hari das they went to jagai and madhai and at the first attempt jagai and madhai turned on them and chased them and they had to run for their lives तो रितन प्रभु सोचा कि अगर ये जो सबसे पतित है जगाई मधाई अगर इनको मैं चतुर्थ महाप्रभु की कृपा प्रदान करता हूँ तब जो उनका ये पतित पावन का जो अवतार है जो उनका नाम पतित पावन है वो सर्वविदित होगा और सब लोग समझेंगे कि कितने ये आ, कितने जो सबसे पतित है उनका भी उद्धार कर सकते हैं और ये सोच करके वो और हरदास ठाकुर वो उनके पास जाते हैं लेकिन पहले बार में पहले जब उन्होंने पहली बार प्रयास किया तो जगाई मथाई जो है वो उनको दौड़ाते हैं उनके ऊपर प्रहार करने के लिए और दोनों लोग को फिर वहां से हट के जाना होता है सो एवरी डे लॉर्ड चैतन्य वुड गेट रिपोर्ट्स अबाउट द प्रीचिंग एंड सो दे टोल्ड लॉर्ड चैतन्य हाउ दे अप्रोच दिस टू वेरी फॉलन सोल्स एंड हरी दास हरी दास ठाकुर कंप्लेन ही सेड यू नो ही सेड दोस वर दे वर वेरी फ्राइटनिंग फियरफुल पीपल दे सेड I'm an old man I cannot run so fast I had to run very fast for my life if they caught me they would have killed me he said this lord nichananda he goes preaching to these people is giving me a lot of trouble I don't know if I can keep going with him like this but lord chaitanya encouraged hari das and said don't worry one day you'll be successful you just please continue keep preaching 
तो चित्र महाप्रभु प्रतिदिन जितने प्रचार का जो समाचार हुआ करता था वो लेते थे कि कितने कहा कहा पर और कैसे तो जब उस दिन की रिपोर्ट बताई हरदास ठाकुर जी ने कैसे हम लोग कल गए थे वहां पर लेकिन फिर हमें भागना पड़ा वहां से और ये नृत्य प्रभु कहीं पर भी लेकर चले जाते हैं और मैं इतना वृद्ध हो गया हूँ और इस समय दौड़ना हमारे लिए संभव नहीं है लेकिन ये इस बात को नहीं मानते हैं तो उन्होंने कहा कि नहीं आप चंद्रमा बोला कि कोई बात नहीं आप निराश मत हो एक दिन निश्चित रूप से आपको सफलता मिलेगी प्रचार में So after a few days they went again to Jaghai and Madhai and in this time one of them hit Lord Nityananda on the head with his wine pot and drew blood from his forehead and Lord Chaitanya when he heard he was furious and Lord Chaitanya came running there he was going to kill Jaghai and Madhai but it was only Lord Nityananda who intervened and told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that my lord in this age you must be merciful aur jab dusri baar unke paas mein gaya to phir se jagai madhai ne kya kiya unke par prahar kiya unke paas jo matka tha usi matke se prahar kiya aur itan prabhu ke mastak se murakt ki dhar bane lagi aur jaise samachar chatra mahapur ke paas pe gaya chatra mahapur wahan par prakat ho gaya ki apne sudarshan chakra ko aavan dete hain aur unka vadh karna chahte the तब नित्यानंद प्रभु ने वो बीच में आकर के उन्होंने रोका उनको और कहा कि देखिए कलयुग में जो आपका अवतार हुआ है वो केवल प्रेम बांटने के लिए हुआ है हरिनाम देने के लिए हुआ है सो बिकॉज ऑफ द इंटरवेंशन ऑफ लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा चैतन्य महाप्रभु बिकेम मैर्सफो बट ही टोल जगह इन मंद हाई यू हैव टू स्टॉप नाउ यू हैव टू बी चेंज यू हैव टू गिव अप ऑल दिस सिंफुल हैबिट्स and the two of them fell at lord chaitanya's feet and they begged their mercy and he they both promised that from now on they would never do anything sinful and they both became devotees and they and you can see they're described in the chaitanya charitamrita as being part of the tree of the devotees of chaitanya mahaprabhu और तब चैतन महाप्रभु जब इस प्रकार से क्रोधित जाते हैं तो केवल नित्यानंद प्रभु के बीच में आने की वजह से ही वो उनको अपमान करते हैं और जगाई मधाई को लेकर उनसे कहते हैं कि अब आगे से आप कोई पाप नहीं करेंगे और इस संकीर्तन आमर में आप भाग लेंगे और बाद में वो बहुत शुद्ध भक्त बन जाते हैं और इसलिए उनका नाम चैतन चरता मृतम के पन्नों मत उनका नाम आता है कि किस प्रकार से वो चैतन महाप्रभु के जो प्रचार की जो शाखा है So this pastime shows the mercy of Lord Nityananda and the compassion, the wonderful qualities of a devotee. It's described by in the Vaishnava song. It says, "Dina hina yatta chilo Hari nam udarilo Thara shakshi jagai madhai." The the holy name can deliver fall, all the fallen souls and the example are jagai and madhai how they were saved by the mercy of lord nityananda who gave them the holy name to is prakar se ye katha jo nitan prabhu ki unki kripa unki karuna ko darshate hain ki kis prakar se aise jo teen patit the jagai madhai unka udhar hota hai aur jisse wo vaishnavas ki महाप्रभु टूक संन्यास he took sanyas over in katwa on the other side of the ganges from mayapur at the ashram of uh at the ashram of keshava bharati keshava bharati maharaj and lord nichananda also went there and attended the sanyasi ceremony and after the sanyasi ceremony then lord chaitanya wanted immediately to go to vrindavan And so devotees they were also going there with they were going with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu they were traveling with him and they were walking and walking and after some time they came to a river 
And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, is this the Yamuna? And Lord Nityananda told him, yes, this is the Yamuna. But actually it was the Ganga. So they were following the Yamuna, they, what, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thought that was the Yamuna, they were following it. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thought, soon we will come to Vrindavan. But what happened was, a boat appeared, and in the boat was a Dvaita Acharya. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was surprised that, how is it a Dvaita Acharya is here? I, this is Vrindavan, why is the Dvaita Acharya here? <laughs> but Advaita Acharya told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, wherever you are, my Lord, this is Vrindavan. Um, Lord Chaitanya was angry at Lord Nityananda that you tricked me, you told me this was the Yamuna. But Lord Nityananda so told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, well, you said, you know, the Yamuna joins into the Ganga here, at this side of the Ganga. So this side of the Ganga is the Yamuna, the other side of the river is the Ganga. <laughs> Lord Nichananda had purposely tricked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to bring him to Shantipur, to the home of Advaita Acharya, and then they called all the devotees to come from Mayapur, to come and see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So at that time, Mother Sachi also came and she saw her son as a sannyasi. I so thought it was a wonderful meeting. All the devotees came to Shantipur and they had kirtan for many days. And Mother Sachi would cook prasadam for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every day. So then Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told his mother that, I'm sorry, I took sannyas impulsively, uh, I was a madman, I should give it up and come home with you. But Mother Sanchi said, no, it's, no, you've taken sannyas, it's, now you must keep it, you can't do that. You must keep your sannyas, it will not be good if you give up the sannyas. So, but she told him, don't go to Vrindavan, just, don't, just go to Jagannath Puri, because then I will get news of you regularly. But if you go to Vrindavan, I will not get news of you very often. So please, you just go to stay in Jagannath Puri, and Jagannath Puri and Mayapur are like two rooms in one house. So I will get the new regularly people are coming and going. So they were going, they all left Shantipur and they walked to Jagannath Puri and 
Lord Chaitanya, he'd taken sannyas, so they gave him the, the danda, they gave him the eka danda, because he'd taken sannyas from Keshava Bharati, who was in the line of Shankaracharya. And so the, in the line of Shankaracharya, they use eka danda, one rod. And so they gave it to, to Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya was carrying it. So at one point on the way, as they're walking to Puri, Lord Chaitanya gave his danda to Lord Nichananda to carry for him. But Lord Nichananda, he, he broke the danda into three and he threw it away. So then Lord Chaitanya, after some time, he said, where's my danda? What happened to my danda? And then Lord Nichananda had to explain, he said, well, he said, don't you remember when we were having kirtan, that you jumped up in the air as you were dancing, you jumped up and you landed on the danda and it cracked, it broke into pieces. So I just threw them away. Hare Krishna. Braj Prakash Prabhu? Yes, Maharaj. Sorry, Maharaj. I lost the connection. So, when we were going there, we were going to take one hand. We were going to take one hand. We were going to take one hand. Because we had Shankara Acharya Ji's parampara. We were going to take one hand. We were going to take one hand. And we were going to take one hand. And when we were going to take one hand, we were going to take one hand. Maharaj, up to this place only, I could hear Maharaj. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, Lord, Lord Chaitanya wondered, he gave the danda to Lord Nichananda and Lord Nichananda broke it. So then Lord Chaitanya asked him, where's my danda? After some time, Lord Chaitanya wondered what had happened to his danda, he didn't know. And so Lord Nichananda told him, he said, he said, no, he said, I was, he said, you, when, when you were dancing, you jumped up in the air and you, you fell on the danda and it cracked, it broke, it broke into pieces, so I threw them away. So, when I saw the danda, when I came to the Mahaprabhu, 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 when I came to the गए थे स्नान करने तो आप बहुत भाव में आकर के आप नृत्य कर रहे थे और आप कूद रहे थे भगवान चैतन्य और जब आप कूद रहे थे तो चैतन्य महाप्रभु तो तो आपका तो आपका जो आपके चरण कमल जो है उस दंड पर पड़े और वो दंड जो है वो तीन भावों में तोड़ गया सो द पास टाइम ऑफ द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ द दंड इज सिग्निफिकेंट बिकॉज इट शोज Chaitanya Maha, Lord Nichananda did not consider Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to require a danda because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Lord. So he doesn't have to follow these rules and regulations and he doesn't belong to any particular ashram or varna. So Chaitanya, Lord Nichananda understood this and that's why he broke the danda and threw it away. That's one understanding. But another understanding is that it was an, he'd been given an ekadanda, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not a Mayavadi, he's not in the line of Sankaracharya, although he took the initiation in that line, he's actually a Vaishnava, and the Vaishnavas carry the Tridandi. The Vaishnavas are known as Tridandi sannyasis. So when Nichananda broke the danda into three, he was showing also that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not an Ekadandi sannyasi, but he's a Tridandi sannyasi. Two different explanations of the pastime. So, this is a very important thing. This is the two Vakhyas that are in the Acharya. One Vakhya is that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Swayam Bhagavan, the Avatar Swayam Bhagavan, Krishna. So, that's why Nathan asked him to ask 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 him to इसीलिए उनके दंडे को उन्होंने तोड़ दिया था और दूसरा कारण ये बताया गया कि चूंकि ये जो वैष्णव सन्यासी होते हैं वो त्रिदंडी सन्यासी होते हैं वो एक दंड सन्यास नहीं लेते इसलिए उसको तीन भागों में विभाजित किया जिससे कि वो त्रिदंडी अर्थात वो वैष्णव संप्रदाय में सन्यास लिया उन्होंने लॉर्ड निचनांडा प्लेस एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन द 
description of the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, two books which are very prominent in describing the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One is Chaitanya Bhagwat and the other is Chaitanya Charitamrita. And Lord Nityananda was involved in both of these books. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ke lila mein Tan Prabhu ji ki bhoat badi bhoat mahatapurna bhumika hai aur unke baare mein do shastro mein vadan diya gaya hai. Ek to Shri Chaitanya Bhagavat mein aur Shri Chaitanya Charta mein tamme. Dono hi shastro mein bhoat vishtar roop mein ke unke baare mein vadan diya gaya hai. Just as Srila Vyasadeva described the pastimes of Lord Krishna in the Srimad Bhagavatam, so it said the Vyasadeva of Chaitanya Leela was a devotee called Vrindavan Das Thakur. And Vrindavan Das Thakur describes himself as the last disciple of Lord Nityananda Prabhu. <laughs> The Chaitanya Charitamrita describes Krishna Das Kaviraj how he was initially he was staying with his brother in their home. And he said in their home there was always Sankirtan going on. Day and night there was always Kirtan. And it happened that one time a great devotee of Lord Nityananda came to their home. That devotee was Miniketana Ramdas. And he was a, in the mood of a cowherd boy. He would carry a flute with him and play the flute. And when people would bow down to him, he would climb on their back. <laughs> and sometimes he would mildly smack their faces. He, he was a very playful person. So so Mini Ketana Ramdas was a great, he was a very intimate follower of Lord Nityananda. But the problem was the brother of Krishna Das Kaviraj, he had full faith in Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but he only had a glimmer of faith in Lord Nityananda. So he did not respect this Mini Ketana Ramdas. And when many Ketana Ramdas came there, he saw the brother was not respectful to him. And he described him, he said, this is the second Romaharshan. So many Ketana Ramdas who were the Chatra Nitan Prabhu, were very big and big. But Krishna Das Kavraj Goswami, who was the brother, he was a big Chatra Mahaprabhu, he was a big Chatra Mahaprabhu, he was a big Chatra Mahaprabhu, but he was not a big Chatra Mahaprabhu. So sometimes people, they, you know, they could see Lord Chaitanya very renounced as a sannyasi. They thought, oh yes, he's very good. But they saw Lord Nityananda. Lord Nityananda is an unusual personality and he's abadut. He does not belong to any of the ashrams. And eventually he also married. He, had, he married the two sisters who were both daughters of Sur Suridas Pandit. Suridas Pandit was the brother of Goridas Pandit, who was a great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But the two wives of uh, Lord Nityananda, it said they were previously the two wives of Lord Balaram. And Lord Balaram, Lord Balaram also had two wives. He had Varuni and uh, Revati. So these two wives, these two wives of Lord Balaram, they came as two sisters in Chaitanya Lila as Janava and Vasudha. And they both became wives of Lord Nityananda. So many people look at Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and see that he is a sannyasi and he is in the form of the Lord Krishna in the form of the Lord. But Nityananda Prabhu doesn't understand how he is in the form of the Lord Krishna. 
बहुत ही दृष्टिकोण से देखा जाए तो उन्होंने विवाह भी किया है गृहस्थ है वो उनकी दो पत्नियां हैं जो कि सौरीदास पंडित की दो कन्याएं हैं जो कि गौरीदास पंडित के भाई हैं और ये बलराम जी की जो पहले जो बलराम जी के रूप में जब बलराम जी आए थे तो उनकी जो दो पत्तियाँ थी वरुणी और रेवती वही दो बहन के रूप में यहाँ पर आकर के दो कन्याओं के रूप में इस यहाँ पर इनकी ढांगड़ी बनती हैं जिनका नाम जानवा और वसुधा है So as we said the brother he had full faith in Chaitanya but only a glimmer of faith in Lord Nityananda and Krishna Das Kaviraj told him he said he said that's like a hypocrite he said it's better to be an atheist better to be an atheist and reject both the brothers and to accept one and believe and not accept the other he said that's a hypocrite better to be an atheist and just reject everybody and then he, he also told him he said to accept one brother and not the other it's like the half hen philosophy you have the hen the front part eats the food and the back part lays the eggs you just want to keep the back part of the hen you don't want to keep the front part so you cut off the front part and you don't keep the back part is it kid that's it that's your logic you want to have chaitanya mahaprabhu you don't want lord nichananda He said, "Can you worship Lord Krishna and reject Lord Shiva? You cannot. You have to accept Lord Shiva. He is the greatest Vaishnava. If you reject the devotees of the Lord, then how can you worship the Lord?" And so he was. But the brother, he was not convinced. He wouldn't accept Lord Nityananda. So, in this regard, Krishna Das Kaurav Goswami says to his brother, "How can you accept one brother?" आप सम्मान कर रहे हो और दूसरे भाई को नहीं मान रहे हो तो ये आप तो मिथ्याचारी हैं फिर और मिथ्याचारी से अच्छा होना है कि आप नास्तिक हो जाओ वो अच्छा है कि आप किसी को मत मानो लेकिन चंद्र महाप्रभु को मानना और धर्मप्रभु को नहीं मानना तो ये तो अर्ध कुकुट न्याय है अर्थात जैसे कोई किसी के पास मुर्गी हो तो मुर्गी मुख से खाती है और पीछे से अंडे देती है तो वो पीछे का भाग रखना चाहते हैं और आधा भाग को काट देते हैं कि मुख से खाती है वो वो बड़ा खर्चीला भाग है तो इसको अर्धकुट न्याय न्याय कहा जाता है तो महाराज कह रहे कि इस प्रकार से बोले ये ये आपका न्याय ठीक नहीं है ये लॉजिक ठीक नहीं है लेकिन बाद में देखा उन्होंने कि वो जो है नहीं मानते हैं और वो इनकी बात को सुन करके भी वो इस पर वो उनका विश्वास नहीं होता है कि मुझे दोनों का सम्मान करना है And so he broke his flute and he left the house. He just went and left. And Krishna Das Kaviraj told his brother, he said, "This is very bad. This is very inauspicious. You've offended a great devotee. This will not be good for you." So that night, Krishna Das Kaviraj took rest, and in his dream, Lord Nityananda appeared to him. And Lord Nityananda came there in his dream, along with all the associates. and they were chanting the holy name dancing and lord nichananda came and he instructed krishna das kaviraj he told him he said you go out from this house don't stay here better you go to vrindavan and get the shelter of rupa and sanatan in vrindavan aur tab phir mini ke mini ke tandas jo thone apni baat se wahan par tod di aur bade khore thokar wahan se chale gaye to ye apmaan de kar ke कृष्णदास कवाज गोस्वामी अपने भाई को बोला कि आपने ठीक नहीं किया ये बड़ा ही अशुभ घटना घटी है और फिर जाकर के वो सो गए और रात में उनको स्वप्न आया उस स्वप्न में नितान प्रभु आकर के उनको आदेश देते हैं कि अब आप इस घर में बिल्कुल मत रुको अब यहाँ से आप जाओ वृंदावन की ओर और वृंदावन में जाकर के शुभ रूप और सनातन गोस्वामी की शरण ग्रहण करो विदाउटिंग फॉर इवन द सन राइज दैट मॉर्निंग Krishna Das Kaviraj just left the house and he went to Vrindavan and he got the shelter of Rupa and Sanatan and Raghunath and he stayed there in Vrindavan and then he wrote Chaitanya Charitamrita because he heard all Chaitanya Leela from them so after hearing all Chaitanya's Leela from these great Goswamis he was able to compile the most wonderful literature which is a jewel in the classics of bengali literature called the chaitanya charitamrita 
और तब उस सुबह की प्रतीक्षा नहीं करते हुए प्रातः काल के रात्रि में ही श्री कृष्ण दास के बाद स्वामी वो वृंदावन को प्रस्थान करते हैं वहां पर जाकर के रूप और रघुनाथ गोस्वामी के आश्रय में उनसे शिक्षा ग्रहण करते हैं और चैतन चरता मृतम जो उनसे श्रवण किया था वो बहुत सुंदर रूप से चरण लीला का वर्णन करते हैं बड़े ही महान ग्रंथ की रचना करते हैं जिसको हम श्री चैतन चरता मृतम के नाम से जानते हैं जो बंगाली भाषा में या बंगाल में बहुत ही प्रसिद्ध है पूरे गौड़ी वैष्णव में बड़े प्रसिद्ध है usually living in the home of Shrivas Pandit because you know Chaitanya's pastimes he every night he was coming there for kirtan and Lord Chaitanya's many leela were there in the home of Shrivas Pandit Lord Nichananda he liked to stay at the home of Shrivas Pandit Shrivas Pandit and his wife were like his mother and father and they treated Lord Nichananda just like their son so he enjoyed there but his behavior lord nichananda is sometimes very unusual is very unusual personality and lord chaitanya therefore one day he asked shrivas he said you know shrivas you're a very respectable person you're a ve you're the head of the brahmin community he said is it is it good for you to keep this nichananda in your home do you think it's okay won't people be doubtful about you having this person stay in your home to nitan prabhu ji hai wahan par shivas thakur ke ghar mein jaake jaaya karte the wahi padha karte the aur wo unko bilkul apne putra ke saman mante the unko bahut sneh diya karte the wahi par kirtan kiya karte the chatmah prabhu ki leelaon ke wahan par bhag liya karte the ek baar usse pucha gaya ki kya aapko koi aapatti nahi hai ye vyakti jo bilkul abhut ke jaise hai aapke ghar mein rehte hain aapko koi aapatti nahi hai So Lord as Shiva's pandit told Lord Chaitanya he said oh my lord you are testing me he said i can never give up the lotus feet of lord nichananda even if he will marry a muslim girl and even if i see him coming from the liquor bar liquor shop he said i will never give up the lotus feet of lord nichananda so chaitanya mahaprabhu was so pleased with shiva's pandit that he had so much faith in lord nichananda that he blessed shrivas pandit he said that even if the goddess of fortune has to go begging your home will never be will never know any poverty to shrivas thakur ne chatramaro ko bola ki aap mujhe aap mera pariksha le rahe hain aap mera parikshan kar rahe hain lekin main to kabhi bhi nahi अगर वो किसी मुस्लिम कन्या से विवाह करके भी आ जाए या अगर वो मदिरा के मदिरालय से भी आ जाए और उन्होंने आशीर्वाद दिया कि अगर कभी लक्ष्मी को भी जाकर भिक्षा मांगनी पड़े लेकिन आपके घर में कभी भी निधनता नहीं आएगी so, Lord Nityananda, he he would take every year the devotees. He bring them from Mayapur. They would go together, a big group of devotees. Actually, the person in charge of the party was a devotee called Shivananda Singh, and Lord Nityananda would go with them. They would go every year to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and they would attend the Rathiyatra, and they would have the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. for some time and so they had to go over many rivers they had to cross different rivers and they had to go across through different tolls they had to show papers and pay taxes it was not such an easy thing so some one particular time there was a delay and the devotees were waiting shivananda sen had to talk to the officials and lord nichananda and all the devotees were delayed they were waiting and waiting and the sun was very hot they had no shelter and they had no food <laughs> and so they were waiting and waiting lord nichananda got a bit angry and at one point he cursed he said where is the shivananda sen why is taking so long and then lord nichananda he told he said i curse the son of shivananda sen to die 
So when Lord, when Lord Nityananda said that, then the wife of Shivananda Sen, who was there, she began to cry because that she didn't want her son to die. So finally when Shivananda Sen came and he saw his wife crying, he said, why are you crying? And she told him that Lord Nityananda cursed our son to die. And Shivananda Sen said, Shivananda Sen said, well, if Lord Nityananda tells her son to die, let him die. Why are you crying? We shouldn't cry. <laughs> and so then Lord Nityananda came and he kicked Shivananda Sen, gave him a kick. He said, because of you, we're out here in this hot sun. And Shivananda Sen being kicked by Lord Nityananda, he said, oh, I'm so fortunate. I've been touched by the dust of your lotus feet. This is the greatest blessing for me. He said, the dust of your lotus feet are definitely purifying me. So we can just understand the faith, the, the, the faith and the love and the devotion which all these devotees had for Lord Nityananda. <laughs> I'll just tell one more pastime because I know it's late. I, I don't want to take too much of your time, but there's so many pastimes. But this one pastime very instructive, and that's concerned with Panihati, the Panihati Shiradahi festival, which was arranged by Lord Nityananda, because Raghunath came there. And when Raghunath came to Panihati and Lord Nityananda had come there with all his devotees, Lord Nityananda told Raghunath that, I'm going to punish you. You put on a festival. I want a feast for all the devotees, everyone. And so Raghunath organized the Shiradahi festival. So Maharaj said, I'll tell you another story. I know that there is a problem here. But we are all in the same way that Maharaj is in the same way. So this story is a very interesting story. It is a very interesting story. When the Nityanan Prabhu came to the Nityanan Prabhu, when the Raghunath Das came to the Nityanan Prabhu, he told them that you have to do the same thing for everyone. Now, Raghunath wanted to be coming to the Nityanan Prabhu. Raghunath wanted to become a full-time devotee. He wanted to leave his home and join Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he came to Lord Chaitanya. He had come earlier to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and asked him, can I just leave home and come with you and join you? 
But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent him home and said, no, just stay at home, just be a normal person for now. You know, don't rush it, take it easy, go home and just stay there and keep Krishna in your heart. Remember Krishna. But when La Raghunath came to Panihati and he organized the Panihati da Shiradahi festival, then Lord Nityananda was very pleased with him and he blessed him that very soon you'll get relief from the well of materialistic life. तो रघुनाथ स्वामी पहले भी चंद्र महाप्रभु के पास जाना चाहते थे और पूर्ण रूप से वो अपनी सेवा देना चाहते थे घर छोड़ करके लेकिन चंद्र महाप्रभु को बोला था कि नहीं अभी आप घर पे जाइए और जब सही समय होगा तो मैं आपको बताऊंगा आपको बुलाऊंगा और अब इस समय वो चूंकि उस समय नित्यान प्रभु कृपा उनको प्राप्त नहीं थी और अब वो नित्यान प्रभु कृपा प्राप्त करके नित्यान प्रभु को बोल रहे हैं कि कृपा करके आप पहले इन सभी भक्तों की सेवा करो और तब जाकर के आप चंद्र महाप्रभु के चरण कमलों को प्राप्त कर पाओगे अर्थात इस अंधकूप जो घर का अंधकूप है उससे आप निकल पाए And so it happened a short time later after the blessings of Lord Nityananda Raghunath was able to escape from home and he went to Jagannath Puri and he became the the the, the, the devotee the disciple of Lord Chaitanya and he stayed in Jagannath Puri so long as Lord Chaitanya was present and after Lord Chaitanya finished his pastimes then Raghunath went to Vrindavan and he stayed in Vrindavan with Rupa and Sanatan but this pastime shows us that you have to get the blessing of the spiritual master you don't go directly to krishna that first you get the blessings of the spiritual master by the blessing of the spiritual master then you get the blessings of krishna so that was the message which we learned from the lila of raghunath because he tried to go directly to lord chaitanya but lord chaitanya told him go home be normal person but after he got the blessings of lord nityananda lord nityananda is the original guru then he was able to get free of material life so maharaj bata rahe hain ki is prakar se is leela mein bahut mahatvapurna shiksha hai ki kya hua iske pashchat turant nitan rugnath swami ko jo hai phir chatur mahaprabhu ka sang prapt hota hai to ghar ke aspas se mukt ho jate hain जो घर का उनको बंधन था उसे मुक्त होकर के जोनाथपुरी में जाकर के महाप्रभु की सेवा करते हैं उनके नित्य पार्षद बनकर के वहाँ पर और महाप्रभु के इस राधाम से जाने के पश्चात वृंदावन धाम में आते हैं और रूप रघुनाथ जी के शरण में वहाँ पर सेवा करते हैं तो महाराज कह रहे हैं कि ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण शिक्षा है कि भगवान कृष्ण की कृपा प्राप्त करने के पहले हमें आध्यात्मिक गुरु की कृपा प्राप्त करनी होती है बिना उनकी कृपा के भगवान की कृपा संभव नहीं है और यही इस लीला में दिखाया गया यहाँ पर रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी की लीला में कि वो पहले बहुत प्रयास किए भगवान के पास जाने के लिए लेकिन जब तक उनको नित्यानंद प्रभु कृपा प्राप्त नहीं हुई तब तक उनको भगवान के पास जाने का ये अवसर प्राप्त नहीं हुआ सो इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर अस टू गेट द मर्सी ऑफ लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा बाय द मर्सी ऑफ लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा देन वी गेट द मर्सी ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्या एंड देन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड राधा एंड कृष्णा एंड हाउ टू गेट द मर्सी ऑफ लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा we should take up preaching we should distribute the books and teach people about krishna just as lord nityananda was doing go to the fallen souls like jagai and madhai and engage them try to preach to them in krishna consciousness to chatur mahaprabhu ki kripa prapt karne ke liye hame nitan prabhu ki kripa prapt karni hogi aur tab ja kar ke hum radha krishna ki kripa prapt ho payegi aur kaise hum sab kripa prapt kar sakte hain shri nitan prabhu ji ki प्रचार कार्य में उठो करके भक्तों की सेवा करके जैसे उन्होंने स्वयं किया जितने पतित लोग हैं उनके पास जाकर के उनको कृष्ण भावना मिट का संदेश देना और इस प्रकार से नितान प्रभु प्रसन्न होंगे और तब चंद्र महाप्रभु प्रसन्न होंगे और तब हमको श्री श्री राधा और कृष्ण कृपा प्राप्त हो पाएगी श्री नित्यानंद प्रभु की श्रील प्रभु की Are there Thank any? you so much, Maharaj. Okay, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. I'm sorry, it took a lot of time. I hope it's not too late for people. Uh, no, Maharaj, it's pretty late for you, Maharaj. But we were so blessed, Maharaj, so fortunate that we got so much of your association, which is very, very divine. <laughs> Hare, Hare Krishna. Maharaj, 
I'll learn for you, Maharaj. Oh, and I'll be oh, wonderful. Learn, uh, Jasmine flowers, beautiful. Oh, thank you so very please much. Please accept, ma'am. <laughs> wonderful. Hare Krishna. Thank you for your assistance. Hare Krishna. Your time, Maharaj. And your, uh, uh, Sujay Maharaj is so, so divine, so purifying, Maharaj. And uh, the entire pastime of Lord Nityanand Prabhu, so nicely you explained, Maharaj, from the Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Chaitamitam. And so many wonderful, instructive pastime you got, Maharaj. We are very, very blessed, very grateful to you, Maharaj. And we look forward, Maharaj. Recording stopped. And in Kalinga Desh, uh, time permits, Maharaj, and uh, the situation becomes all right. So we are waiting, Maharaj, here.